There are tiny microscopic plants in the ocean that help us stay alive by clearing the air of carbon dioxide. Algae also provides food and now it's providing biodegradable products. This is in every ocean, every river, every lake, you name it. These things are ubiquitous, they're survivors. They're the first organisms on the planet. Cyanobacteria were here maybe three billion years ago. They're the reason you and I can breathe. Yes, microscopic plants that grow in water are that crucial to our survival. And for distinguished professor of biology, Stephen Mayfield and his students, algae has turned into a source of inspiration to replace plastic products. Every ocean on the on, the, on this planet is covered in plastic trash now. How did we do that? Wanting to solve some major environmental problems, Mayfield tasked his students to use algae to help clear the world of plastic pollution. We have significant problems caused by us that there are scientific solutions to. And their solution came in the form of footwear, specifically footwear made by what's found in nature to then go back into nature. I have a pre-mixed polyol mixture here. This is Gordy Scofield, polymer chemist at Algenesis. And I'm going to add some pigment right now. And then we mix it up with this mechanical stir over here. This evenly disperses everything so that it's ready for reaction. Once it's mixed, it's ready to be molded. And then we mix it all together and uh, pour it into the mold. So here at this UC San Diego lab, they are turning algae into the substance to create soles of shoes and the soft padding on top of them. The material that would go over your foot is hemp. It's all biodegradable, which was proven in a couple different ways. The students put the shoes in their compost. So here's what our shoe looks like, right, when, when you're wearing it or something like that. And then this is one month in a compost pile, three months in a compost pile, six months in a compost pile. And by the time you would get to eight or nine months, you don't even see it anymore. They also put the shoes in the ocean, setting them off the Scripps Pier in La Jolla, checking on them regularly. They became home to mussels, even an image of a lobster on the shoe. After a few months, the hemp disappeared. The bottom of the shoe looks to take about two years to completely be gone, but during that time, it gets eaten by marine bacteria and marine fungi. And unlike plastic, serves as a life source, as opposed to a source of destruction. They've already sold about a thousand pairs of these shoes, deciding to create the company Blue Blue View out of UCSD because it was taking other large shoe manufacturers much longer to buy into the process. We hope that what our shoe does is puts the fear of God into these big shoe companies that if you don't go this way, you're going to be out of business. Now, since they see a lot of plastic shoes, flip-flops as pollution all the time, at least these scientists can rest easy knowing these shoes will not harm any animals if they are lost at sea. You can get the shoes. If you're interested in these Blue View footwear, we'll have a link on our website. And just so you know, they do cost $135. Uh, and I did purchase a pair right after we did the story. I wanted a pair for myself. I wore them uh, to multiple airports this yeah. past weekend just to test them out, break them in. They're very comfortable because they have the sole and then another right. layer of padding. Awesome. And the whole time I'm like, these are cool. Yeah, they look like, cool. I they look great. Stylish. It was it was very fun to walk and feel proud knowing like these are made of yeah. algae mm -hmm. and hemp. And we go through a lot of shoes at my house. Right. So yes. you, I always feel bad. I, I hold on to shoes as long as possible. Mm -hmm. right? right. And there's holes in them because yeah. you don't want to be throwing those out. Right, right. And now you're less guilty feeling. Yes. Bring them to me and I can put them in my compost bin. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. looking forward to composting these when I'm done. Wow.